Its course has been the route of history's greatest conquerors. Its waters have nourished the cradle of civilizations and fed the world's greatest religion for millennia. It has been called the father of rivers. the most fascinating and untold story of Sindhu, the River Indus. Come join us on an epic journey through 11,000 years of history, geography, and culture. with us, 2,000 miles with mighty Indus. Hi guys, you're watching a drop. I'm Usman. I'm Neha. And I'm Noor. And today we've taken over from Hussain and Aisha and we're discussing all things Game of Thrones. So guys, the first episode of Game of Thrones is out. We're getting a lot of critique for it. Some people call it underwhelming, some people call it anticlimactic. What do you guys think? Well, I, I can see where those critiques are coming from, but I personally think that it was, it, it was a good episode and it wasn't the best one out there, but it certainly was a good episode out there because they had, the creators had such a giant task to do. They had to you know, reintroduce these characters, get us reacquainted with them, because the show is come, come, has come back after two years. So get us reacquainted with them and, you know, to tease what's coming up. So when you look at it like that, it was a setup episode. They're putting the pieces on the board and now we're ready to go from there. One of the things I found very underwhelming was when Sam told John about his parentage. Now he took the news, but it wasn't exactly what I had imagined him to react like. It was very anticlimactic for me. I was expecting something, I don't know, maybe a tantrum or two. <laughs> no, so. I, I can see that. I mean, this was the big secret. Yes. We've been, you know, teased about it day one, you know, yeah. who is John's mom? Yeah. And we found out, I mean, as the, the audience certainly exactly. knew, but John didn't. So I, I can see why you were a bit disappointed. But what that. I did like was the, the, the tension between the North, Northerners and the, the Queen Khaleesi as she walks in and everybody is very skeptical of how she's going to treat them like because they, they have not had very good experiences in the past with the, all these people coming from King's Landing and other, people, other sides. So um, I'm really... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing in the next episode yeah. what's going to yeah, be Yeah, and like. I mean, I think you can sum that scene yeah. very well in the question that Sam asks John in the episode that, you know, you gave up your crown for the people. Will she do the same? Let's see that. Yeah, I don't think she will, but let's find out. Let's find out. Um, Noor, there so there were some downsides to the episode, but I'm guessing there were some intense scenes as well. What do you? Yeah, think? I love the part where uh, Arya meets John. I really, really felt like I'm part of the scene there, and since I've grown so attached with those people, so I felt like, oh my God, I'm part of this family meetup where everybody is meeting each other and they're uh, rejoicing, and I felt that this episode, uh, this whole season is going to be very bloody. So you needed something good to begin with. Like something yeah, wholesome. I certainly see that. I mean, yeah. I, I also, one of the things that I loved that the creators did was the little callback and teases yeah. to the first episode of the first season. We, 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 in the first episode, we've got little Bran, little Arya 
you know, climbing up the trees to see the king come. And now we've got this little boy climbing up the trees to see the queen coming. And even at the end of the episode, we've got in the first episode of the first season, we had, you know, Jamie put, push Bran out the window, you know, where it all started. Yeah. And now we've got Jamie and Bran in the courtyard of Winterfell. He's we, been we, waiting we, we for an out. old friend. I, I love that. That's one to watch. But definitely we can't move forward without discussing Sansa and Daenerys. What do you guys think about that intense relationship? I think it brings out the human side of all these people related to magic and dragons. At the end of the day, they're still two women. So, you know. And they're women who have surprisingly very similar parallels. They've yes. both, both been, you know, very weak in the beginning. They've both been rape victims. They've both sort of like grown up from there, you know, and come into a place of power. So it makes sense that they would be clashing. You know, they wouldn't want to give their power up. Daenerys thinks she's the queen. Sansa is the Lady of Winterfell. So I love the little evil side eye going on True. between them. True, definitely. But guys, um, there's some crazy fan theories about the next episode. Um, anything, any insight that you have, Neha? Well, I don't know if it's about the next episode, but the thing that I'm most looking forward to in this, the upcoming five episodes has to be the Battle of Winterfell. Of course. I mean, we know, we know from reports that <clears throat> it, it was shot over 55 nights and it is going to be the biggest battle on film ever. It's going to be longer than the uh, Battle of Helm's Deep in Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. So it's going to be huge and I want some gore, I want some blood, I want my heart <laughs> to be ripped out. <laughs> So I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to that. Um, talking about battles, obviously there's a battle going on in our local politics as well. What do you guys think? Any characters match the, the Pakistani political scene? Um, I think there are similarities because it, you know it's politics and we can all relate to a lot of scenes, a lot of the, the whole uh, Game of Thrones we see in real life as well all over the world. So, um, yeah, I mean, Game of Thrones, the one thing that makes it so unique is that while there's dragons and magic and everything, the characters are motivated by very real situations. So you can always draw com comparisons in that. I mean, in the, this episode alone, you can you have this whole idea of the Northerners saying that John should have stuck with the North and John saying that we've got White Walkers coming up, we've got a bigger picture, so this far-right ideology. And we've seen it in real life in America, in Brexit, yeah. we see it in BJP campaign in Indian elections. So it's it's a very real thing and yeah. versus the idea of a left-wing thing that, you know, it doesn't matter who's in power, are we being willfully naive when we say that? One thing I'm really interested in watching is, I'm really looking forward to, is how Daenerys deals with Jamie Lannister now that he's into Winterfell. That will really tell about what she is like as a leader, as is she compassionate, is she brutal, what kind of a you know leader she is when she deals with Jamie Lan now that he's not exactly the same king slayer he was at that time. So I really wanted to know how they deal with each other in the next episode. That's true. Um, guys there's uh, not much similarities when it comes to characters but with Game of Thrones and local politics there's definitely a similarity with mentalities. What's funny is, while um, the Night King is uh, breaking down walls, Donald Trump is actually building, building walls. Them. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Thanks for joining us for this episode, guys. And we'll see you next, uh, next week with the details on the next episode. Thank you.